Today, let's dissect a king crab. I went to the fish market to get a king crab, but it was over $60 per kilogram. I tried to find a smaller one, but there were none under 2 kilograms. This is because king crabs are enormous creatures that can grow up to 180 centimeters across and weigh more than 10 kilograms when their legs are fully extended. When I was worried about the high cost, a store owner kindly offered me a frozen king crab for free. To show my appreciation, I will produce a video with this king crab. Ta-da! Here is a king crab. Isn't it huge? The king crab features a hard, pentagonal shell with short spines. Not only does the shell have spines, but the legs do too. What kind of creature is the king crab? First off, a quick look at the king crab shows it has a forehead angle and eyes on the top of its shell, two pairs of antennae below the eyes, and many appendages around its mouth. Inside the appendages are jaws for cutting up food, and after the king crab catches its prey with its claws, it uses the appendages and jaws around its mouth to eat. These characteristics are the same as those of the red snow crab. Therefore, king crabs are often assumed to be a type of crab. But in fact, king crabs are not crabs in the biological sense. Taxonomically, crabs belong to the order Decapoda, suborder Brachyura, but king crabs belong to the suborder Anomura, not Brachyura, and are in the same taxonomic group as hermit crabs. The most apparent difference between king crabs and other crabs is the number of legs. While crabs have ten legs, king crabs appear to only have eight. Hermit crabs also have a pair of claws and two or three pairs of walking legs which is one of the features that classify king crabs in the suborder Anomura. By the way, we have a surprising fact. In fact, the number of legs on the thorax is the same for all crabs, king crabs, and hermit crabs. Both hermit crabs and king crabs belong to Decapoda, so they have ten legs on their thorax. This hermit crab looks like it has three pairs of legs, but two pairs of degenerated legs are hidden inside the shell. The rear legs are small and degenerated so the body can easily fit within the shell. Similarly, king crabs have a pair of legs hidden inside their shells. But where is the king crab's fifth leg? To find the fifth leg, let's take a closer look at the king crab's legs. Looking from above, the first pair is the claws, and the right claw of the king crab is more developed. The three pairs of legs behind the claws are the walking legs, the tip of which are claw-like. If you turn it over and look at the underside, you will see that the legs extend from this hip-like area. But no matter how you look at it, it only has eight legs, right? However, if we open the abdomen and look under the legs, we can see one hidden joint on the inside. Carefully removing this section, we find a fifth leg hidden inside the carapace. It is also on the other side like this. Like hermit crabs, king crabs have a pair of small legs hidden inside the shell. The fifth leg is not used for walking, but for other purposes, which we will discuss as we dissect the king crab. And the reason king crabs and crabs appear so similar despite being in different taxonomic groups is that, like hermit crabs, they diverged from an ancestor that had a long abdomen, but evolved in a similar way to crabs, convergent evolution with a folded abdomen and a flattened shell, so the red king crab is also a crab. Therefore, king crabs have a folded abdomen like crabs. Here is the abdomen of a folded king crab. When the abdomen is spread out, there is an anus at the tip, and if you press this part, feces comes out. The male king crab can be distinguished from the female by the shape of its abdomen. The male has a narrow, triangular abdomen, while the female has a broader abdomen to easily hold its eggs. Wow. Curious, isn't it? Next, to look at the legs more closely, if you cut one off and observe it like this, you will see that the leg is divided into several parts at the joints. This is a characteristic of arthropods to which king crabs belong, and they can move freely because they can bend at various angles with multiple joints like this. 
King crabs use these three pairs of long walking legs to move long distances along the sea floor. So, when you remove the outer exoskeleton of the leg and look inside, you will see that it is full of muscles. These long, large legs are packed with muscle, which is why king crabs are prized as high-quality food. Inside the leg muscles is this plastic-like substance, called a tendon. These tendons connect the muscle to the exoskeleton, and, like human tendons, transmit the movement of muscles to the bones. To learn more about tendons, watch this video. Now, let's remove all the remaining legs like this. And look at the inside of the torso. First, we cut open the cephalothorax shell with scissors. To see the inside, the gills are arranged in such a way that they overlap each other. At the bottom of the gills is the fifth leg we saw earlier, which cleans the gills and removes impurities. Next, in the center between the gills is the heart, and above that is the stomach, the digestive organ. The king crab's digestive tract runs through the stomach and intestines to the anus at the end of the abdomen. Therefore, if you insert a pair of tweezers into the anus, you can see that it is connected to the intestines as shown here. And on the other side of the shell, there was something like a white string. It's kind of long, isn't it? This is sometimes mistaken for a parasite, but it is actually a spermatic duct that releases sperm and is connected to the reproductive pore located under the fifth leg. This is why king crabs mate with their abdomens together, at which time the sperm comes out from under the male's fifth leg, and the fifth leg is responsible for passing the sperm to the female. The fifth leg of the king crab has many roles, doesn't it? This space around the king crab's digestive tract is supposed to be filled with an organ called the hepatopancreas. But in this king crab, the hepatopancreas is missing, as if it had melted away during the thawing process. Therefore, in order to show you the hepatopancreas, I purchased a freshly frozen one. If you cut it open and check inside, can you see it? This yellow part is the hepatopancreas. The hepatopancreas is an organ that surrounds the digestive tract and secretes digestive enzymes. And it is mainly this part that we call crab innards. By the way, the hepatopancreas of a king crab is also the part where contaminants such as heavy metals that have entered the body accumulate. Of course, eating one or two king crabs is not a problem. But people with liver problems and pregnant women would be wise not to eat too much crab innards. That's all for the dissection of the king crab. By the way, how does it taste? Thankful for the frozen king crab gift, I ate the king crab I bought from the store. This is the first time in my life to eat king crab. Thus, I took out the inner muscles of the leg, dipped it in plenty of king crab innards, and took a bite. The king crab meat had a sweet taste, and to be honest, it was the most delicious among the crustaceans I have ever eaten. In particular, the fried rice with crab innards is the best. But considering the price, I wonder if I can eat it again in the future. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science, where science reveals all things mysterious.